Guys, it is time. The giveaway is live to enter to win this 1997 F350 four-door long bed 7.3 power stroke. Beautiful, beautiful truck, guys. Runs great, drives great. It's getting some new tires, some new wheels. We're gonna be doing some suspension upgrades on it just to make it that much better. It's gonna be getting a few upgrades here and there and just some things to make it more drivable, more driver friendly, um, even though it's fine. Like I cruise in this thing going 70 miles an hour down the highway. The cruise control works, the air works, the heat works. Um, everything works, like it works great. It's just a great, great truck. Runs good and starts up good. The truck's plugged in right now, so we are going to actually unplug it. beautiful truck and like I said guys I've said this many times you know these giveaways are to I'm very open with my subscribers and what these giveaways are for okay the giveaways are to a cover the cost of the truck the builds and to give a fan a truck as a thank you to one of my subscribers for all the support and then hopefully they produce enough funds each time to move the channel forward to buy the next truck to build the next truck to get some work done and to give away another one to another loyal supporter and uh, it's just a cycle that's been working for me and it's been working for the channel and for consistent content and stuff like that um, and it's just it's just been working well and so that's what I want to keep on doing because I've told guys many times like I've I've been blessed to be able to have nice things nice trucks and stuff like my Longhorn my two-wheel drive and all the trucks that I've owned in the past year and uh, my goal is to give back as many trucks as I possibly can while I'm able to do it so thank you guys so much for all the love and support really really appreciate it however this video is not necessarily about this truck it's about that red one right over there but keep in mind the giveaway for this truck is live the information is in the description every $15 is another entry to win and also take this into consideration maybe you want a truck but you don't want an OBS F350 you don't want a power stroke but guess what if you win the truck you don't have to keep it you're allowed to win it and sell it you can sell it the very next day you know it's your truck you can do whatever you want with it you can sell it go buy yourself a power stroke buy yourself a Duramax, pay off some bills, put the down payment on a house, whatever you want to do. It is up to you. It is your truck to do with as you please if you win. So keep that in mind. Just because I'm giving away this truck doesn't mean you can't envision it being a different truck that you could replace it with by selling it and generating the money from it. Because this truck will probably sell from 15 to 18. Um, it's a very clean truck, especially once it's done, it's gonna have some much nicer stuff on it and it's gonna be much more driver friendly and nicer tires, nicer wheels, all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. Don't mind the 7.3 running in the background there. I'm just letting it run a little bit because it's sat. But this is my beautiful girlfriend, Reagan. And this is her 2001 24 valve and she's gonna give you a little bit of a rundown on the truck and what's done to it in terms of at least some of the basic stuff and uh, maybe a couple of things that she'd like to do to it. So the first reason that I got this truck was when I, when I first looked at it was because the frame just it's there's no there's no surface rust there's nothing um, so it's just it's super clean and that's something that caught my attention is because I just don't want to deal with a truck with rust so that was something that was big priority to me but uh, another thing was I didn't want to buy something that was completely built already necessarily and not be able to you know make it my own and take it the way I want to take it. So the only thing that's been done to this is it has an edge tuner, uh, CTS, and 
I haven't had any issues with it. I know a lot of people make fun of edge tuners, um, but I really haven't had any issues with it. It's got a fast fuel pump on it. Had no issues with that. The only issue I had with this truck, for some reason, somebody decided to put the fuel spigot in there. It was two inches shorter than it should be, so we put a sump in there, and that's been helping. Um, she has 20 by 12 on her gear wheels, 35s. She had sport mirrors when I first bought her, and now she has tow mirrors. It's completely been a difference. That's the only thing I've done. Intake. Which you just did the other day on your video. Yeah, I actually did it on my other video. And what I'd like to do, as I told him, is I'd love to rebuild the transmission this year. I would love to put head studs. I'd love to make it a compound turbo truck. <laughs> I'd love to put new injectors in there and create more horsepower. I just want to better her performance. I know a lot of people are like, oh, rush, put more horsepower, put more horsepower. But honestly, I just want her to run like a freaking beast. I'd rather do it right, re uh, rebuild the transmission, start there and then start putting horsepower in there. I'd love to have traction bars because I love to do burnouts. Anybody knows that I love bright, to do bright burnouts. Bright red traction bars. Yeah, bright red traction bars. We've reached out to a couple of exhaust companies. My plan is to take the axle dump, take it completely out and just put it from outside the back wheel. I would love to put a new rear bumper on that. That rear bumper drives me insane. We can actually show them it. Dents in there so I'd love to put, um, I'm not going to roll pan because we are not have mixed feelings about roll pants, but um, I would like to put a newer, um, like heavy duty bumper on there that with, with a couple pods in there. It needs a new tint. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep her clean, simple. Um, I did have a toolbox. A lot of people asked me about that. I took that out just because I want her to be nice and clean, you know. You can show them the sump too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So there's the sump. Should get a sump. With the air, air fast, fuel system. Yeah, fast fuel system. We're talking about. And then we have SNB cold air intake, by the way. There's the old filter, old <laughs> yeah, intake. She took out one filter. It's got leather, which is really nice. <laughs> I colored the dash for people who aren't following my channel. I did that. It's got a huge 12 inch Polk sub in there because I love my music. <laughs> and then it has a 10 inch uh, exhaust tip on it that's 18 inches long. I'd probably go with an 8 inch outlet tip next. Probably, and um, since it's the axle off will be taken out, it'll be a lot quieter. Like, it's just leveled out, and it has really big tires on it, so that's really what like, gives Rosie a tight. Tighter steering upgrades. Yes. New, new steering head, box. Steering box, stabilizer, bars, everything. She's solid now. I, I even got heat for the first time, so heat and AC. That was completely um, the uh, that everything was taken out. The heating core, the hoses, everything was completely taken out and redone, so I finally have heat. I don't think I could ever part with this truck. Uh, it's too sentimental, it's something I've been wanting for a very, very long time, and when my parents helped me get it, you can have your jokes, but um, my parents knew I just needed something else to push me and start me in life, and it's I've had a lot of opportunities, so I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for Malachi giving me a lot of opportunities. And I can't wait to see where this truck goes. And, you know, maybe I can take this truck opportunity and get a couple bad looking trucks. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So real quick, guys, update on the first gen because, yeah, haven't seen the truck in a little bit. And people are asking what in the heck happened to the first gen build. First gen build is here. It's just not been progressing forward after we got the compound turbos attached. It's just a pain in the butt and I'm not going to be one to say I just love wrenching on my trucks and I just love doing this and sitting in the shop for hours and hours and hours and hours. It's just not my thing. Some guys, they find joy in working on their truck and solving the problems and making stuff work and making stuff fit and customizing. And I, I love driving them when they're done. <laughs> it might sound silly to some people, but... I'm not a mechanic and I'm not going to pretend to be a professional and absolutely love necessarily doing it wrenching. I love trucks. I love everything about them. I love work getting done to them. And you'll hear this from a lot of other YouTubers like, um, I'm not going to name any names, but you'll, you'll hear it if you pay attention. Um, they're just like, it's just not worth it. Like we'd rather be working on other stuff and not pretend to be a mechanic and we'd rather just pay somebody who's good at what they do and have them do it. The truck's just kind of like on halt right now and we've had some questions raised about the downpipe and how we're going to be able to fit it in there and just a couple of other small things but I really just need I really just need to get out here turn the crank the heater on and just run down on this truck and just see what can happen and what can fit the downpipe is just not going to work in this very well it is just going to be very very difficult could you have somebody custom fabricate one I'm sure 
but it would be a pain in the butt or do a uh, just a bigger single turbo setup um, and keep it like that but I don't know I don't know things are still on in the works but let's get back to her video an OBS to sell it and buy your own Rosine 24V if you'd like. Yeah. You could do that. Or you could win and see Rosine 24V in person if you like her so much. Yeah, or you could just win the OBS and come come see Rosine 24V in person. Rosine is a truck. Reagan, Reagan. Yeah, a lot of people Reagan's confuse that. There's some people at school that have never even met me, and now they're like, oh, is your name Rosine? No. Satisfying coal roll. <laughs> of course, she has a YouTube channel, Reagan Marshall. That'll be right here on the screen. Also, remember this truck right here, this beautiful, beautiful 1997 F350. Guys, come on, come on. It's a beautiful truck. It's a great truck. There's no rips in the interior, actually. Let me show you. Cherry. Looks really good. Beautiful. Beautiful. No rips. No stains. Vinyl is. This ceiling is in really good shape. Just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Like I said, a lot of new stuff coming to the truck. It's gonna be, it's gonna look even better. Um, it's not gonna be given away the way it sits exactly right now, but um, beautiful, beautiful truck. And if you have any questions regarding, you know, the giveaways and stuff, leave your comments down below. I will try to answer them the best that I can. And um, for anybody wondering, are these giveaways real? Do people really win trucks? Absolutely, yes. Okay, you can't fake giveaways like this. There's people watching these videos that if I was doing these giveaways illegally, you know, I'd be shut down within an hour of them going up, okay? You can't host giveaways like this with prizes like this and, you know, national sweepstakes. I mean, you just can't fake a giveaway like this. It's as real as they come, boys. So if you want to win a truck, everything's legit. Third-party agencies do the drawing. I do not cherry-pick anybody. I have no say in the drawing or anything like that. Definitely don't forget to enter. Every $15 is another entry to win. You can enter as many times as you'd like throughout the course of the giveaway. The giveaway ends February 5th, and then it is over. So do not miss out, okay? Enter information down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Making these things come true, making dreams come true for people, and just making this kind of stuff happen is absolutely incredible, and I owe a huge, massive thank you to you guys. It's gonna be a life-changing year for myself. I know that for sure. 2018 was just an incredible life-changing year as well, not just for me, but for some people. You know, we gave away some trucks and did some cool stuff, and. It was just it was just an absolutely incredible, incredible year. So I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to all you guys. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.